me address your first question, which is that it's bogus. Well, okay, maybe it is bogus, but try it once. Because if it doesn't work, it's not going to harm you. If somebody's going to give it a real shot, how long should they try the process for? And I even say that with, if you go in thinking like, okay, let's see if this thing works and your hands are crossed for those people who can't see me on YouTube, you're already coming in with a little bit of negativity, yeah. you know, to that component. Yeah. But if somebody's like, no, I want to do this. I want to pay attention. I want to kind of follow the methodology that's there in, in the book. Link in the show notes for anybody who wants to check it out, the source. What is a good amount? What is some time? You're saying try it. What, mm -hmm. what is an appropriate amount of time to give this a shot? Mm -hmm. Well, I do my boards and I recommend that people do an annual one mm -hmm. because it's not too short term. These things do need time. And the only reason they need time is that manifestation is based on neuroplasticity. And that means that you have to change a neural pathway in your brain. And that takes time. It depends what it is. So usually I say that if there are some what look like quick wins on your board, do everything that you can to make them come true because then you're giving yourself evidence that it works. And it's a you're cumulative. You're stacking up the receipts. Yeah, you're stacking up the receipts. It's cumulative. Um, and some things will naturally take longer. But if you're still staring at this board and there's absolutely nothing on it that's happening, then that can be quite demotivating and it's really important to stay motivated. But I do want to say as well that although I'm a huge advocate of action boards, it isn't the only way that you can manifest. And, and there are some ways that may be more appealing to people with more masculine energy or who are less spiritual. And so an obvious one is is a list. So a list of things that you want. You know, that I think seems less bogus, right? So that, And there'll be a lot of people who will say, well, I'm not going to do a vision board, but they might already have a list, and they but they don't talk about it. Yeah. Or they have a list and they do talk about it. And then there are actually, there's a small group of people who neurologically cannot visualize. So for them, I've suggested creating a soundtrack of success. Hmm. So you can basically choose song titles or music that you know, make you feel that same way, like that you've achieved something that you want. Um, you can even create a smell of success. So you can have a particular essential oil or combination that represents to you that you've achieved, you know, whatever it is that might be on your, your manifestation list or board. So there are other ways of doing it. Um, and the